Hi, YouTube friends. It's me, Susan, and I'm here after having having not seen you for quite some time. Earlier this month, I read a, a short story written by my friend, and if you uh, didn't catch that, you can still listen to it. It's very short and it's very touching, and I would read it for her so that she could get it out there and mm -hmm. simply just for interest's sake. But I'm here today for another reason because it's Happy New Year's Eve Eve, and it's very cold here today. We're in Ottawa, Canada, and I have no idea what the temperature is, but it's chilly. And tomorrow night is Chris New Year's Eve, which really doesn't really mean anything to me. It's usually I'm asleep before midnight. And, but it's also a year of every time the new year happens, people are always like, what am I going to do differently this year? What's my resolution? Blah, blah, blah. And most of the time people don't really ever keep them. And, you know, I've made resolutions in the past. And I don't normally keep them. So this year I know myself and I know I'm not going to keep any resolution. But there are things that I want to do, which continuing on from last year, I really wanted to get this YouTube channel up and going. Like I wanted to be posting at least weekly and I didn't do that. I did not... I did not post as much as I wanted to. And so I do have this goal to do so much better this year. I have plans to begin a weekly YouTube um, episode, let's say, series on different local Ottawa area crafters and artists who... Um, make their handmade things and I'm going to hopefully take three or four a week and bring them on here and tell you all about them tell you who the maker is and what the item is how much it costs where they sell it and what it's like in person to me so that I can describe it to you and also give you my feedback on it and that is my plan because over on Facebook I do host or I do run a group rather called the Ottawa Artist and Crafter Showcase. It's where handmade sellers can sign up to host a showcase for a day or two of only their items so that means no one else can post on the wall and if they do post on the wall, it just gets deleted. And I've written that all out in the pinned post, so I don't have to be explaining myself to anybody who says, why did my post get deleted? So you need to read. You need to be able to read. So if you can read, then you'll know why your post was deleted. Furthermore, anyway, that is the plan for this year. Amongst other videos that I want to do, like crafting tutorials or um, showing you some of the latest items that I've made, which is what I'm going to show you right now. And I'm going to be putting it on my in my Etsy shop um, at the Craftosaurus store, not Lola Creations. So I have two YouTube or two Etsy shops one Lola Creations jewelry and one Craftosaurus store. So moving right along into this, I have created or made a post-it note and, and matching magnets. So um, I've also made this box that it's in. So first I will show you the box that it comes in. I really love the wood look. And so I with my using my Martha Stewart 
paper folder upper, whatever you call it. I'm so technical. You know, that scoring board. Yeah, so I made this box. It's the wood grain look. Sorry, my dog is getting a bone. And the top and the bottom. And then op my, and I open it. I still need to work on my my box dimension. Actually, it's two-sided too. So you could just keep it open and look at this side. It reminds me of little Christmas trees, but Christmas has come and gone. Okay, so inside the box, this is what you would you would get. So we've got oopsie. Let me just take it out. There. So inside the box, we have the post notes, which I did design the paper on PicMonkey.com, which is my favorite um, editing website ever that I use almost all the time. Unless I'm on my phone and I use PixArt because PicMonkey in Canada doesn't really work on my phone. So this is the post-it notes and it's pretty bursting blooms pattern with like a tur teal kind of colored background and some yellowish blooms and other yellow and uh, so I made the this post-it note and this I have no idea how many pages but they are quite large so here so they are you know that's my hand so that's the post -note. and I did attach magnets to the back so you can stick it on your fridge or your filing cabinet if you're at work and then I did pick up a package of pens from the probably the dollar store these are by paper mate and they're ink joy minis so i put this one in because it does match but i also don't think that it will probably show up very well so i'm going back and forth between adding in the black one instead but if you want to leave me your suggestion in the comments below then i will happily look and see what you think i should do um, so yeah, I was going to add the green one because it matches, but I don't think it will show up on the paper. So then I thought I should add the black one. So like I just said, you tell me what you think and then I will make a decision. So that's that. Then I made these four matching magnets. So they're this with the clear glass gems and I added on the paper pattern on the back with a very heavy duty magnet. So there's four that come in the package. I'll do this without dropping them. Four. So that is something that I really like stationary for some reason I have no idea but I do know lots of people do too obviously it's really probably a really big seller I mean hello staples people love patterny cutesy little matchy matchy stationary stuff so this is again they are just the that one's a lighter yellow this one just seems to be a darker yellow although they all look the same in the video. So that's the post-it note package with matching makeup that I will be posting in my Etsy shop and I will be selling that. I'm not really sure on a price yet. I'm thinking probably $15 Canadian, I don't know, maybe $10 Canadian. So in the United States would be obviously cheaper. However, I'm not sure yet. I'm thinking $10, 10 between 10 and 15. So I do hope to have that up soon in my shop. I'm gonna put the link of my shop in the com um, down below in the description 
and hopefully you will go and check it out. And then you can also, I'll put the other link of my jewelry shop in the comments as well. And you can check that out too. And you can share it with your friends who like stationery or your friends who like jewelry and they can check it out. And then we can all be happy and joyful and have lovely stationery and pretty jewelry. So that is my, my post-it note package and if you want to see a tutorial on how I made the magnets and how I made the post-it notes mm -hmm. please let me know also in the comments if you like this video please give me a thumbs up and if you're not already subscribed please subscribe so come January 1st in two days my goal is to become a much better YouTube host, a YouTube personality. So please look for my episodes on the weekly episodes on the reviews of the handmade artists from my Ottawa Artist and Crafter Showcase Facebook group, which will be on here every week. And also keep um, looking for uploaded videos that I do on craft tutorials, new items released, whatever inspires me to share with you guys. So I do love YouTube. I don't know really any of you, so I don't love you guys. And But I'm sure you're really nice people. And I'm making that out, it sounds kind of mean, but I'm doing that on purpose because of all of the other YouTube channels out there where the people are like, I love you guys, you guys are such my friends. But really, you don't know anybody on here. And unless, you know, you got your mom on here, or your best friend, or your cousin Joe, or Billy Bob, you don't know anybody else. And you can't, you know, just love everyone. So, I mean, yes, it's nice to like, love thy neighbor. But, anyway, I'm not going to go off on a whole rigmarole thing. But, thank you for watching. I cherish your subscriptions and I love that you are watching and that you like my channel, if you do. And thank you to all you awesome, cool people who are probably really cool. And that's all I have to say. This is just a highlight. This is a very real channel. There's not going to be lots of fancy editing or whatnot. Because this is me. There's nothing to hide. I will try to add on some nice funky music and a pretty title and stuff. But I'm not looking to be a TV host. So I'm just going to, you know, be me. So yeah. Hopefully you'll come back and watch the next episode. And I will check you later. Have a great day and be happy and healthy and safe wherever you are and whatever you're doing. Ciao!